humanitarian crisis can turn a child's world upside down. As girls and boys face greater risks, they are often separated from the people and systems meant to protect them. When humanitarian action doesn't adequately address children's protection needs, it can unintentionally expose them to greater risks of abuse and violence. As children and families are increasingly affected by epidemics, disasters or conflicts, quality and accountable humanitarian services are needed now more than ever. The minimum standards for child protection in humanitarian action, or CPMS, sets out common principles and critical actions to keep children safe from abuse, neglect, exploitation and violence and to support their well-being holistically. Since its initial launch in 2012, the CPMS has been used by over 74,000 people in more than 50 countries, helping to improve the quality of child protection programming when a crisis hits. The CPMS has been revised and improved, building on the latest evidence, research, and on-the-ground experience of child protection workers affected caregivers and children themselves. The 2019 edition is a one-stop resource on the most effective approaches to protect children in humanitarian settings. It can be applied across a wide range of contexts from refugee crises and mixed migration settings to infectious disease outbreaks such as COVID-19. The new edition strengthens the relevance of the CPMS through greater emphasis on partnerships with local actors, accountability to children, prevention of child protection harms, and the inclusion of all children, particularly girls and children with disabilities. The CPMS is divided into four pillars. One, standards to ensure a quality child protection response. Two, standards on child protection risks. Three, standards to develop adequate strategies. And four, standards to work across sectors. The six standards of Pillar 1 provide a child protection sensitive approach to key programming components ranging from coordination to information management. These standards provide a strong focus on inclusive child participation and accountability to children, including their protection from sexual abuse by humanitarian workers. In a humanitarian crisis, child protection risks increase as children become more vulnerable to violence, exploitation, and other threats. Some children face multiple risks all at once. The seven interlinked standards of Pillar 2 provide actions to increase the resilience of the child, their family and community by working to remove or reduce the risks children face. The seven standards of Pillar 3 are built on the social ecological approach, which demonstrates how actions at the child, family, community and society level can systematically strengthen the protection and well-being of children. For example, Standard 15 explores a range of group approaches to meet children's psychosocial needs, while Standard 16 provides guidance to support parents and caregivers and help keep families together. No single sector has the knowledge, skills and resources to fully respond to children's protection needs. Recognizing the value of an integrated approach, the eight standards of Pillar 4 provide minimum actions for joint programming across sectors in humanitarian settings. Standard 23 provides key actions to strengthen protective, inclusive education, as well as gender and disability sensitive services. Standard 24, Health and Child Protection, provides guidance on integrated health and child protection approaches, including in infectious disease settings. Each pillar has a detailed introduction outlining the main approaches and how the pillars complement each other 
to deliver holistic programming for children and their families. Each standard includes key actions, guidance notes, realistic and measurable indicators, key resources for further guidance, and a list of linked standards to promote inclusive programming. Icons highlight cross-cutting issues such as infectious disease settings, refugees, displacement and migration contexts, safeguarding, and prevention. By putting the CPMS within reach of every humanitarian actor, more children and their families will have the support they need to recover and build safe and healthy lives.